everyone, today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial showing you how I got this makeup look. Um, I have been out so it's kind of a bit sort of faded if you know what I mean. But basically it's a autumn sort of soft makeup look because I don't want it to be too much on the eyes and I don't want it to be too much on the face either so I'm just going to make it a lot more even and just a soft subtle makeup look for the autumn. My hair is up, I'm not actually just randomly having hairs here but I can't be bothered to sort it out today so it's just going up in ponytail. So if you guys like this makeup tutorial or if you do like my makeup tutorials in general please do let me know because I would, I'm really getting a little more a little bit more interested into makeup recently so if you do like it let me know in the comments and um i'll do any more specific ones just let me know which ones as i said so i hope you like the tutorial and let's get started so starting off with foundation i'm just going to use the revlon nearly naked foundation just because i really have quite a few blemishes recently and i kind of want to cover them up quite badly and i'm just using a little bit at the start but as you see soon i do get a little bit more of the foundation to put on my hand and i'm just applying this with the real techniques um buffing brush because it's amazing at blending in foundation especially when when you are in a rush and you just need to do your foundation quickly. Next on to concealer and I'm just using this P2 from Germany um, concealer base primer thing and I like to use this just before my concealer just because it is a great base for concealer also because it actually covers up a little bit so um, it does it gives the other concealers that I'm going to use a little bit less of a job and also it's really nice to use just before concealer really I'm applying this on my under eyes and all my blemishes and redness as well just to even out my skin tone then onto the actual concealer to cover up, I'm using the Maybelline Cover Stick and I'm using again this under my eyes, on my blemishes and any different skin tones that aren't matching, if you know what I mean. I just want it to all blend in together. Next I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, this is to mainly highlight but also to cover up the bits which are really really hard to cover. Those blemishes that just don't seem to go away with any kind of makeup. Um, and I'm using this again with my fingers just because I prefer the finish with fingers. Um, I just think it gives more of a flawless finish. But as you see soon I do use a brush just to blend everything in together if there are any of the sort of marks of my fingerprints. And next I'm using powder, this is the Maybelline Matte Maker Powder, and I'm just using a random kabuki brush with this, just because it's really, really quick and easy to do. And next I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in medium, because this makes my skin tone, it makes me look a lot more alive, and a lot more awakened, and a lot more healthy looking, rather than quite pale as I am normally, so this is a great thing to use. I'm going to put this all down my neck as well so it all blends in together. Now on to bronzer. I'm using the 17 Instant Glow Cream Bronzer and I'm just using this with a contour brush from Real Techniques and contouring my cheekbones mainly but then going up around my face just to, in sort of three shape but sort of doing it individually as you can see. Now I'm going to make the um, contour a bit more deeper and I'm using the Essence Quattro eyeshadows. I'm not sure what shade it is in but it's in a deeper shade so it makes my 
face look a little bit more contoured i'm just applying a little bit of lip balm to for ready for my lips later sorry then i'm going on to eyelid primer and this is from urban decay It's their primer potion in eden my all-time favorite i love this so much and i can't wait to buy an entire full size bottle of it now onto eyeshadow i'm just using this eyeshadow brush and i'm from this Stila written in the stars palette i'm using this light shade um this is kind of like a peachy shade you could say and I'm applying this all over my lid before I apply in the inner corner or outer corner just so it's a good base for the rest of the eyeshadow I would say it's more of a blushed skin tone color now I'm using a lighter shade just for the inner sort of corners I the reason why I applied this afterwards is because I feel like it blends better with the rest of the shadows now for the outer crease I'm just using this brown matte brown and a burgundy shade and I'm bringing out of my lash line and bringing into my crease and then I'm just sort of blending with the rest of my eyeshadow I'm bringing this out of my lash line because I find it wings out the eyes a lot more it opens it up and it makes the rest of your makeup look a lot more flawless I don't know how but it just gives the appearance of it Now using this accent brush, I'm again going into the burgundy shade and just bringing it under my bottom lash line just so it brings the look a little more together so it's not so separate onto the top lid and my under my eyes. It's just sort of bringing it together a lot more and I think it looks a lot better. Then I'm using some gel liner and I'm using this angled brush and I'm, as you can see I'm just putting it really really close to the lash line because I find it looks a lot more sleek rather than it being a very thick line with gel liner but as you can see in a while i actually do smoke it out a bit so i don't make sh i make sure it's not very precise i like it being a little bit smoky rather than just um a defined line also the brush isn't very good so this kind of helps with the entire aspect of it being smoky Now just curling my eyelashes, I actually do my mascara separate on each eye, so I'm just curling one eyelash first. And then I'm going to be using the Big Eyes Mascara from Maybelline. I love this so much, I recommend it, I've been recommending it for a while, it's amazing. I'm just applying it to my top lashes, and I do do it with my bottom lashes, but I cut it out because I, it look, I look really weird in, in the recording. But it's amazing, it opens up your eyes, it defines your lashes, it gives you volume, it is amazing. I'm now doing my eyebrows and as you can see I'm actually using Espresso from MAC and a lot of YouTubers have said how they wonder why blonde people use this um, shade for their eyebrows. Actually if you use this very very lightly with a light hand and you use it with light strokes and everything it actually comes out amazing and I really really like my eyebrows in this so I'm just gonna say that I really like it. Anyway I'm using some clear mascara as brow gel because I find it's the best way. Finally for lips, I'm just using this lipstick from Revlon which is called Move It Over and I love this because it's matte and it's a very good shade for the autumn. So that's the entire makeup look guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up if you did and also let me know in the comments what other makeup tutorials you would like me to do next. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I will always reply, I tend to do that anyway but yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!